Hey guys, so welcome to this video on how to install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio on Windows. This is for the latest version that is SSMS of SQL Server 2019. So to install SQL Server first, you have to go to your browser and um, search SQL Server Download. Open the first link you see which is a Microsoft link and once you open it you'll come to a web page and you want to look for the developer version so you might have to scroll down just a bit and then you'll see developer click on download now under developer and the download should begin and it's just an installer package so you want to open that installer package once it's finished downloading and then uh, it'll ask you to make changes to the computer so that's why you can't see the screen once you've accepted that the installer opens choose basic here and agree to the terms of uh, SQL Server and then just install it in the default location unless you have some other specific need and then the installation begins yeah so once the installation begins it takes a bit of time I've skipped through the those sections um, most of the waiting time for this video but uh, generally it does take a few minutes um, for, for each of these programs to download so I've skipped, skipped through most of them as you can see and now we've finished um, downloading SQL Server so SQL Server is the is the database um, uh, management system which resides inside your computer and once that is downloaded successfully we, we need to download SQL Server Management Studio which gives us an interface uh, to interact with SQL Server which is in your computer. So uh, you might want to save these uh, details of SQL Server for later in case you need them and then we can proceed with the installation of uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So um, what you want to do is again uh, go to your browser. So once you've opened your browser uh, you can uh, search for SQL Server Management Studio see the first link which says download SQL Ma Server Management Studio from Microsoft and again just scroll down a bit and you should see um, a general availability version so SSMS 19 is in a public preview but SSMS 18.12.1 at the time of recording is the latest GA so you want to download the latest generally available version and you can see that downloads begun I've skipped through most of it and then you can open that download and begin installing SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio again this process takes a bit of time I've skipped through most of the loading screens for the purpose of this video but please do be patient if it takes 10-15 uh, minutes depending on the speed of your computer again it will ask you to make some changes allow this program to make some changes you want to accept that and then the installation begins so just be patient and let it completely finish sometimes the loading bar won't be moving but I've seen that generally it does if once you wait for that once you wait a bit it does complete so I've skipped through a lot of the waiting time And then as you can see we've completely completed the setup of SQL Server Management Studio. Then you can go to your search bar and just search SQL Server Management Studio. Choose the app with the icon not the folder. And then that should bring you to SSMS. Again, it takes a bit of time to open. Maybe this is just the first time, so yes, please do be patient, as they keep saying. So now, uh, 
SQL Server Management Studio is opened and on this connect to server dialog box for server name you just want to put a full stop which enables you to connect to the local SQL Server instance. Uh, once you've opened it, once, the, once you've clicked connect, you can see that you have access to the database, all the system databases and you can, in the object explorer, you can view all the tables you have the external tables, the views, the procedures, etc. And now we are going to just uh, just to check that it, everything's working properly, we're going to open a new query. And uh, once you've got the dialog box open for new queries, this is just a basic select statement from one of the system tables just to make sure that um, uh, everything is uh, connected and working properly. So we're just going to select everything from the SPL monitor, SPT monitor uh, system table execute as you can see the data has been returned so that means we've uh, correctly set up a SQL server and SSMS thank you for watching and we hope to see you back soon